Hey everyone, it's Zoe here from Octo Studio, and I wanted to show you how you can make a project using multiple phones with the beam block. A couple people requested this, so yeah, I thought I would show you how to do it. And if you have any other requests, just let me know. So for an example, I will show you how to make this project where you have two phones and on one of them you have a launch button and when you press it, the rocket launches on the other phone. So the blocks for sending signals between phones are the beam to phones block and the wait for beam block. And you can get these by going to the more blocks category and swiping through until you get to these ones. And on the phone that you want to be the launch button, you can drag out the block beam to phones the orange triangle message. And this will send out a beam signal to all phones and tablets within Bluetooth range. And I put it under the block that says, when I tap. So now we can send out the beam message every time we tap the red button. So now let's make the phone that we want to respond to the signal. So for the rocket, I will put together the blocks when the play button is pressed, wait for the orange triangle beam, and then I'll have it do something like move upward. I'll use the move block and have it go upward. So let's try it out. I will tap the play button on this phone to make it start waiting for the beam. And then on the first phone, I will tap the launch button and it makes the rocket go up on this other phone. The way this code works is when the play button is pressed, the rocket starts waiting for the orange triangle beam and it won't continue and do the next block until it receives the beam. So it's just waiting for the beam, and then once it does receive it, it will do the next thing, which is move. Now, you might notice that after you tap the launch button once, when you tap it again, the rocket doesn't go up. Let me show you how to make it so that you can tap the launch button over and over again. So all you have to do is, for the phone that has the rocket, go to the control category and drag out a forever block and put it around your code. So now, when you tap the play button, you can tap to launch the rocket and then tap to launch it again and do it as many times as you want because now it's always waiting for the beam rather than just waiting for it once and then being done. And it doesn't have to be a move block that you put here. You can put whatever thing you want this sprite to do when it gets the signal. So you could have it play a sound or you could have it show up after it receives the beam or anything else you want. Also, it doesn't specifically have to be the orange triangle message, but whatever message you send out with one phone, you should just make sure that the other phone is waiting to receive that same message. So if you sent out the yellow circle, have it be waiting for the yellow circle. And one last thing I wanted to mention for when you're making your projects, if you're trying out your project and you notice that you keep trying to send the beam, but it isn't working, make sure that you have tapped the play button because if the project isn't running, it won't be waiting for the beam. So even if you send the beam, it's not gonna do anything because it's not waiting for it. And the same goes for if it's full screened, you've got to make sure the play button has been pressed in order for it to be waiting. So that's beam, and that's how you can do multi-phone projects. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.